Hello, everybody. It is Badger Wild, and we are back with a Space Engineer ship review video. This time, I'm reviewing something that is awesome and vanilla, which probably has several subgrids, considering this particular type of ship is usually got a bunch of subgrids on it. <clears throat> and that is today, we're looking at this monster. And some of you probably will already recognize the deck design if you've ever played Star Citizen. Yes, this is the Drake Industries Kraken carrier. Oh, let me get my guy here. In Space Engineers. Yes, we have a build of this now. <coughs> so if you guys enjoy this video and you like this content, be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will have a, at least a video every week for y'all to enjoy. By the way... Let's get back to this because we are here on the Drake Kraken. Let's take a look at this in the menu here. Uh, this is done by the Hayden Dare. Uh, requires pretty much all the DLCs. Number of block 32,192. It is a large type and it is a fairly good size ship. We're going to push like on this and this is just one of those little ships. Not little. I say little. It is actually one of those ships that you would take. You could take this into survival. The 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 realm I have right here, there are no mod no mods installed. It is just a, a little world that I have called YouTube. And so this ship here is mo. Well, it's all vanilla, but there are some subgrids you'll have to find, and you'll have to set those up on here. One, we've got some subgrids down here. They're kind of halfway into place. Just small detail stuff mostly that make the ship really work. This is the landing gear, the turrets. But other than that, the detail on this thing is great. Almost every single block on here is focused to a single point of, hey, let's make this ship look like the real thing. You can see right here, we've got solar panels on this. Uh, those are probably going to provide power. Probably not going to be the best power source. And now we're going to have an asteroid get in the way <coughs> of the show here. And the lights were already on. But you get down in here and you just see all these extra little details that are in this. It is amazing how much time that the Hayden Dare put into this particular ship. There are, there are so many nooks and crannies you could go into. I think this is perfect for you and your buddies. You know, you're out playing Space Engineers and you break out the Kraken and start playing with it. We've got nice engine pods here. Excellent amount of hydrogen. We've also got a lot of hydrogen power. So let's go inside. I'm going to show you a little bit of the interior and we're going to fly this thing around. So first off, we're going to fly over to this side of the ship where the main landing bay is you see right here it is massive all right we have a massive landing bay we can land all kinds of goodies on here but let's let's hurry on over this way and we are going to open up this first door here so i believe oh wait this is it is she opening oh push the wrong button playing hell divers too much it's e and it's f instead of e so anyway we, we come over here this is the only is this the only other entrance in? Yes, it is the only other entrance in. At least from the top deck. There, I don't think there's any other way to get in from here. Is there? Is that a way in? No, no, it's not. So anyway, we're going to go inside here. We've got a nice little forklift to pull things off of. Uh, you know, to get stuff out of the off the deal when you land a ship or something because this is actually the larger landing pad so you can land something pretty big with some cargo in it and we're gonna close this door here if i can get my guy on it and there we go got that like i said nice little forklift with the twin pistons and the catcher here very nice let's go in we've got this first corridor now I don't know where this goes. This is a pretty complex ship. We have a lot of options, a lot of places you can move into, lots of storage, mind you. We've got survival kits almost all over the place in this thing. You can see right here, this is the entrance though to what I believe is a second way. Oh no, there is a second way in from there. You have to go out on this. And each one of them has their own individual airlock. So there is a way to land your person. It's apparently also got the 
door script on so it will shut automatically so there's something we don't have to do and through here we've got what appears to be ready rooms I suppose as your pilots are running through and this is for like any fighters or anything you've got on the ship we're going to go this way because we want to get up to the main cockpit or we want to get to the main helm and see how well this thing flies so we'll head up here and I believe the higher up we go, the more likely we're going to run into what we're looking for. So we're just going to keep going up. This this ship, by the way, has everything. I've looked through it. It's got hospital, bed staff, um, a massive, like right in here, we've got a nice little canteen area. We've got a toilet. We've got a nice little open bedroom. These new, these new bed blocks have just been amazing to give yourself all the space you want and then add it then you can just add really cool interiors now and there's a lot of these on board it's just one of the things that are here <clears throat> like I said continuing on we're gonna hop into the cockpit here and like I said it has a medical bay it has I think two lunch rooms or two cat or two cafeterias and then it's got well, most of the rest of the ship is a carrier pretty much so let's hop in here and I'm going to take a look at some of the options. If this is the helm, I don't think this is the main cockpit here. Ah, there we go. We'll head up here. This is probably the main cockpit. There we are. Now, let's go back and look at this thing. Just imagine this thing coming out of nowhere and then laying into you with its auto cannons, its guns, and then you can add more guns to this thing if you wanted to and just make it. it I mean, it's just such a highly detailed ship. I am I am halfway wanting to build just a space version of this <clears throat> because this is what I think you, people don't realize about carrier combat in space. You do not need a big giant hangar. You can do most of your work outside on the ship. You can land all your ships outside. And just have like a small bay for repairs or something. It's kind of like how we do ships nowadays, but you don't need a runway to do it. You just vertically off, you just vertical off the ship and then take off. Right now, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check this out. We've got one. We got our turrets off. We can turn those on. And then number three, some kind of program block. I don't know. Oh, that activates the lights on the ship. That's actually a really cool option to have. <clears throat> We've got engine control number seven, number six. I believe this has something to do with the landing gear on the bottom. Let's check that out. I'm not seeing anything. Number seven. Anything coming out here? Okay, no mods, but I don't know what these other buttons are doing here. I know something's moving because <clears throat> we're manipulating some stuff. Oh, there's a... That's what that is. Okay, so number eight and number seven are uh, a lift on the bottom of it. Oh, so it does have a lift. Oh, that's nice. It's got an elevator, folks. We have an elevator. So that appears to be everything on there. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to see if this gets us forward. And we don't have <clears throat> the greatest of acceleration, but for a ship this size, it's actually pretty impressive. Now, turning this thing. Oh, that's like driving a tractor, folks. <laughs> yeah, this ain't the ship you're going to be flying into battle pulling off maneuvers this is it something you're going to be flying in and just stomping on someone with ships at a distance see how fast it can slow down oh yeah I can't imagine being on the outside of this thing messing with it like I said you've got plenty of anti-gun capabilities you got several anti-air guns set up we have several rail guns set up on the front of it. You can see the big gigantic rail guns up here. These are eight rail guns. I think they fire and they may fire sequentially. But like I said, a very very large 
and very, very cool ship. I'm going to have to hop out of this thing so I can get the good money shot that we like. Oh, we got a entrance right over here. We can just head over here, hit this, and I believe this will take us outside, maybe. Um, it's not taking me outside. Let's see here. Nope, not there either. Maybe, maybe it's down there. Let's see. I think there is a way outside. I just gotta... Okay, I went to engineering. <laughs> now look, we have a ship so large... <clears throat> And you'll be able to conquer galaxies with it. Probably not, but... Oh, well. I'm trying to get out. I'm going to have to come up with a different way to get out of here. When the ship is so large, you get lost in it. You know it's a good ship. Let's see, which way did I come in from? Oh, yeah, over here. So we'll just head down here for a moment. And I do believe... That this will just take me outside. And there we go. But yeah. For those of you wondering, that is... Ha! Ah, nurse dampeners went out. Anyway, folks. Yeah, after a little technical difficulties. Here we are. This is... Just, and it's... I'm having difficulty getting positioned. That's why we're having pauses in the video. It is a large ship. I mean, it's this is a larger-than-average vessel. It can hold several pretty decent-sized fighters as well. I mean, I could put a couple of the F-302s on there, no issue, uh, if I had a bottom, if I had an undercarriage coupling for them. But yeah, you guys are looking for an awesome ship to take with you on missions and take with you in Space Engineers. And just a home ship for you and your buddies that looks cool. Do check this out. Link for it will be in the description of the video. And you guys can pick it up. Like I said, no mods. Nothing. Just straight up Star Citizen in Space Engineers. Love seeing builds like this. These are awesome. Uh, I am going through the through the stuff you guys are putting up on the Space Engineers tab on the Discord. And I'm seeing some pretty cool stuff, and I'm looking at things, if I can find them on there. So check your links, uh, because I wanted to review one, guys, and I could not get to it from my computer for some reason. It would not let it through. So do check your computers and make sure it can go through through the computer, because I could not find it. And as always, or just send me a link to it in the Discord. By the way, <clears throat> thank you all for watching the video. I am Badger Wild saying stay safe, stay frosty. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.